Howdy with this video. I uh, want to go over uh, the schedule just a little bit and go over the success metaphor, what I'm looking for there. I'm doing this video on uh, Wednesday, February 19th. Uh, for this Friday, the 21st, uh, journals 5 and 6 are due and that success metaphor is due. And like I said, I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, after that, we're going to start creating our ePortfolio and start putting our, our material in there. That's going to be within the D2L ePortfolio. Uh, and I'll do a video showing you how to create that and hopefully how to share. We've had a little trouble sharing here in my traditional classes. We'll see how that goes. So hopefully they're getting that worked out. Um, but again, we're going to start putting stuff in that ePortfolio, uh, starting with the revised self-regulated learner essay. I should have that back to you this weekend uh, graded. And once you get it back graded, you're going to revise it one more time and post it in the ePortfolio. I'm going to do the same thing with that descriptive paragraph about the food. You're going to revise that one more time, put it in the portfolio. Uh, then we're going to start put, putting in a career-oriented material in there, your resume, uh, an introduction paragraph. That's going to be kind of like a cover letter, not in that format, but kind of with that information. So that if you do need to do a cover letter, you can go take that introduction paragraph, reformat it fairly quickly, and have a good cover letter going. Uh, you're going to have your academic plan in there. Uh, kind of ignore this work Citus pages and quoting from sources. Uh, we'll get into that after spring break. I don't want to put that in your head then have you forget it over spring break because that's not something you normally walk around <laughs> trying to retain you know at all costs. Um, but hopefully by the idea with the ePortfolio is by the end of class you can look in that portfolio and see all the work you've done in the class and kind of go like well no wonder I, <laughs> I'm so busy uh, and hopefully it looks good. And you also have some career material that you're you know ready to go if you're ready to start looking for a job, you, you've got some of that material ready. Uh, after that, we come back, we have spring break, then we'll come back and start working on the career essay. Uh, Going to get into research a little bit. Uh, you know, after you take 0870, you're cleared to take uh, college level writing comp one. Uh, even if you're not going to, you're still part of this class that's so supposed to kind of say, yes, you can't, you're ready for that. Uh, and you need to know a little bit about MLA formatting. But I'm here to help you. Don't don't get 10 stuff about research or anything like that. It's Hopefully one of this career essay is something you're kind of interested in anyway. Uh, seeing where you know where your career is going, what you know where your education is taking you. Uh, the last one, a medical essay again. Hopefully it's a narrative essay. Uh, hopefully it's something you're going to be interested in anyway. Uh, I'm just going to be putting re research into someone's story. It's not uh, you know the, the classic research from high school or something where you had to have 38 sources and note cards and all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to kind of go over MLA formatting, make sure you understand it. Uh, but anyway, again, don't no 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 stressing about the research yet, um, and we won't be stressing too much when we get there because I'm here to help you with that. Uh, but for Friday, again, journals five and six are due. The success metaphor is due. Uh, the success metaphor assignment is up here on the content page under essay project assignments. Uh, there's a metaphor assignment right there. I think I already got it open. Yeah, I already got it open. Um, for this assignment, you're going to draw, give me a drawing uh, that, and show me what success looks like to you uh, in this class or in terms of college, uh, either way you want to go there. Uh, I prefer you actually do a hand drawing instead of trying to use a, a, a digital image on the internet or something like that. Uh, it's just easier to customize it for what we're doing if you hand draw it. And you don't have to be a great otter, artist. Uh, I draw stick figures. That's the best I can do and there's nothing wrong with stick figures, which we'll see here in a second. Uh, but basically, you're just going to write, uh, you know, my success in this class will look like whatever it's going to look like. Uh, then you're going to label that drawing. Where, where do you get your support from? Uh, how much past experiences are contributing to your success? Uh, whatever is kind of creating your success, your hard work. Uh, maybe you got friends or, or, or other people in your classes that help you, your instructors, of course. Uh, and then all this kind of comes together in one image uh, that you're going to present to us. And to give you some examples, it's a PowerPoint here. Uh, again, I kind of want that one sentence that kind of says success in this class will look like uh, musical notes or something like that. Um, but here we got musical notes. Uh, she's labeling each of the notes, uh, showing where and lab labeling the bars, showing us uh, where success is coming from, you know, in terms of her courses. Uh, sometimes success will look like a uh, uh, Dapple colored tree of life. Uh, and this student actually had the, the the markers with her when she got the assignment. She just she's just an artist and likes to draw and color. Uh, you don't have to use color if you don't want to. Uh, it can be kind of fun though. 
especially if you have kids and they get to see you sit down and start coloring you're like wow okay <laughs> uh that's kind of neat uh and this one she might have labeled the sun but good metaphor good labeling showing us what success looks like right uh when you start at college you're a little fish and you're tr trying to grow up and to be one of the big fish when you graduate right and ready for that job market uh this one success is learning how to blow a bubble uh, again notice uh it's just she's used the stick figures she may not be the greatest artist in the world but she has a good metaphor going here uh labels everything about the process and uh there she is blowing a bubble uh so, whoops sorry uh some people uh I, I think this guy put a piece of paper on his computer screen to trace this which is fine just you know don't ruin your computer screen or anything um but again once you have the drawing make sure you label everything uh, did a good job there it's a nice looking picture isn't it uh, but uh, success looks like a fisherman holding a record size catch there it's a good good metaphor uh might be uh, a candle might be uh growing uh baby duck eggs well not i guess just duck eggs hatching and growing into a big duck uh that's kind of the idea as you go through college you start becoming a bigger duck out there in the world right uh this one uh it's a, like a leaping dolf a dolphin leaping for the first time uh she kind of does all the labeling at the bottom uh either way is fine just make sure you're labeling every, you know, all the different aspects of the image uh, so i can see where your success is coming from uh some, if you're a pretty good drawer uh, you might do something like this car uh, but notice again, he's labeling everything, uh, showing us where his success is coming from there. Uh, this is one like, this is uh, uh, like having a baby. Again, don't get too graphic with any drawings, but she didn't. And uh, just kind of go through the process that, you know, dealing with all the stresses and everything with, with uh, college and, uh, you know, finally getting to your certificate or your degree or whatever. Uh, it's just like having a baby. It's like, ah, it's out. <laughs> uh, so again, Stick figures are fine. You don't have to be the great artist. Uh, again, this is, looks like she might have traced this from somewhere. This one could use maybe a little more labeling. Um, but it can be kind of fun. It doesn't have to be a super serious uh, life and death kind of drawing. Uh, but you're just going to, uh, that's kind of what the metaphor should look like. Uh, you're going to have to take a picture of it and send it to me uh, as an email attachment the first time. And then eventually you're going to put it into your e-portfolio. Uh, if you have trouble trying to figure out how to get it to me, uh, we can work with that as well. Uh, but just kind of email me and let me know. Uh, but again, journals five and six are due this uh, Friday as well as the, the metaphor. Uh, if you have questions about it, uh, let me know. I'm going to get off here. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.